It's here, 90 kilometers southeast of London, police found human remains hidden in the woods. Today, they confirmed it's the body of Sarah Everard, and a serving police officer has been charged with her kidnapping and murder. Wayne Cousins, age 48, has been remanded in custody and will appear at Westminster Magistrates Court tomorrow morning. Sarah's family, of course, have been informed of this development. The 33-year-old vanished on March 3rd, walking home from a friend's in South London. For days, police scoured the area, looking for any trace of her. Then earlier this week, they turned their attention to Cousins' home in southeast England. The married father of two is part of the diplomatic protection unit. The force itself is under investigation for how it has handled this case, and specifically allegations against Cousins for indecent exposure, just days before Everard went missing. For people in London, the case has sparked fear. Literally where Sarah disappeared was metres away from my flat. Me and my flatmates have all been terrified as of all my friends around the area. That terror has pivoted into a heated conversation about violence against women. Though COVID restrictions mean vigils planned for the weekend are banned by police, this organiser says something needs to be done to deal with the threats women face. Spaces should be safe for women um, and that it's not our behaviour that needs to change. It's not about what we wear, it's not about what time we go out. We there are calls for the government to intervene and allow the vigil to go ahead. For now, the Prime Minister says it's a police matter. I totally understand uh, why this has triggered such a wave of feeling on, on this issue, uh, on the issue of, of safety of women and safety of the, of the streets. An outpouring of anger for the murder of Everard, as her family grieve a woman they describe as beautiful, thoughtful, and incredibly kind. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, London.